Today is another package day. And we have <laughs> a lot to go through. And now I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know what to start with, so let's just get into one. Alrighty, now let's see what's inside of here. Oh, okay, this is a really great one to start with. If you guys don't know what this is, it is the Marvel Collector Core Box, and normally I'm not able to order them, but for some reason they restocked in Canada. I don't know about the US Amazon, but for some reason I was able to get one. And normally that does not happen. And I mean, here's the thing, I wasn't able to get it in my t-shirt size, but at least I'm able to get the figures. And really quickly, before I do open it up, if you guys wanna see what's going on here, we've got the Spider-Man No Way Home, on the top as well as some more on the side. We've got, you know, just the logo all around because they really don't want to spoil it on the outside of the box. So let's just cut into this and find out what figures are going to be inside. And I did see something about it on, I think it was Instagram or Twitter a little while ago. And anyways, let me just reach in and see what we've got here. Okay, so the t-shirt size I ended up getting was a large. So not awful, it'll probably fit. And anyways, let's take a look at it here because this is seriously a sick one. Also, the t-shirt does glow in the dark. I mean, come on. Take a look at this. It's all three Spider-Men together. And if you're curious what does glow, I believe it's all three of their eyes or like all six. But you know what I mean? All right, now let's go for whatever else is inside. It feels like something, two more things on top and then we'll get into the pops. And it looks like we've got, oh, there's three things. Oh, there's the card with everything on it. And I guess I can show you guys the backside here, which tells us the next one is going to be Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumanium. And if you guys would like to see that, I'll probably go for it. And then it looks like the other thing inside was a spider sticker and then we also ooh, got a pretty decent pop pin it's actually honestly much larger than i expected it was gonna be and now let's get into the two pops ooh, these look great and what i've been trying to do with all of these spider-man no way home figures was get the eight pack but then whatever was outside of the eight pack like other figures or exclusives those were the ones i was gonna go for and so let me show you guys this one first it is electro and i mean come on that is amazing like the lightning is making it look like he's floating. I really, really enjoy that. I guess it's the scene where he's kind of like in the telephone wires and he kind of like just pops into their universe. So seriously, a fun one. And kind of interesting because on the back here, it only shows the three when this definitely is coming out like way, way after the rest of the waves. Maybe this was originally going to be coming out when the movie was and they had to push it back. I'm not sure. And then the other figure that we've got here is another really great one. And I honestly didn't think they were going to be making this. So it's cool that they threw it inside of the collector core. And this one here is the unmasked version of the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Which, for anybody wondering, would be the Tobey Maguire version. And they did make an Andrew Garfield one, which is exclusive to, I think it was previous exclusives, so like comic book stores. And then, of course, we've got a bunch of unmasked Tom Holland ones, and we didn't have any of the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, so now it is really cool. I think I mentioned this already. I don't know. I'm just so excited about it. Now, everybody, we've got this single box here, which, if I'm guessing, is coming from the Funko Shop. It was probably inside of a larger package, and I just totally missed it. So, let me show you guys first, and we'll find out what it is. Oh, a good one. Okay, this here is, I believe, yeah, the Diamond Edition Tapatio Man. I was a little bit hesitant about picking this one up, but as a lot of you guys know, I try to go for every single ad icon, and now that I've got it in person, I'm really glad that I did get it. Especially because I did just get in the Tapatio Fluffy a little while ago, so it's really cool to have both of them in the collection, as well as the normal Tapatio Man, and I'm hoping in the future, I don't know why I want this, but I want a full bottle of Tapatio with maybe like a pop of version of the guy on the front. You know, like this guy here who sits on the front. I think that'd be really neat. Now, I'm gonna be honest, this next box here is way too heavy for how big it is. And so I guess let's just open this thing up and find out what it is. Oh, interesting. Okay, this here is, well, the U2's Jenga. It was a collaboration that they did a little while ago. There was a Monopoly as well as a Jenga, and I'm hoping that they make like a deck of cards or something in the future because I would love to have that. But yeah, it was something that I wanted to buy, and I don't know, it was just kind of a fun thing to have. Especially because I really do enjoy kind of like random additions of different games, and because I do enjoy U2s a lot, I figured, you know what, why not? Let's grab one. And so just for fun, let me open this thing up, and if it's in like a plastic wrap, I probably won't take it out of that just because, I don't know, I want to keep it in its like stack if possible. But if I can get into this, there we go. Okay, now let me see what it's looking like. Oh good, it looks like it is wrapped up. So let me just show you guys what we've got going on here. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep it out of the box or in the box, I'm not sure yet. But if you guys can 
see it says Jenga and then it's got the U2's eyes all around it. It's pretty neat. And it tells you everything it contains. It also has like the fun like solo Jenga gameplay. Wait, you can play Jenga by yourself? Look, I'm gonna be honest. I know not that many people in my family really enjoy Jenga just because of how loud it is. Like Bailey, my dog, definitely does not. So the solo version could be a good option. And actually, you know what? Since we've got another U2's package for today, we might as well do them together. And this is a really fun figure because I read the tag and I know what's inside. And I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but I have been keeping up to date on my SpongeBob U2's collection. I haven't bought any of the plush yet. I'm still debating on that. Unless U2's wants to send over a set, I would totally do a review. But for now, I've got every single one of the figures. And if you guys want to take a look at this one here, it is, oh, it's so good. Just even looking at the front of the box, it's Mr. Crab and the smallest violin. I just love how they're doing so many of these memes. And also on TikTok, this has been pretty big recently where you'll see people just kind of go like this, like it is the smallest violin. And so I showed you guys the front and now it says on the side here, oh, boo hoo. And then on the back, it says, let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. It's not his exact accent, but I think you guys know what I'm trying to do here. And then if you guys want to take a look, there's Squidward as well as Mr. Krabs. And now I'm kind of curious what's going to be on the inside. Maybe like music notes. Uh, oh, it says this really is the world's smallest violin. Now that I think about it, are they being serious about that one? Or is that a quote from SpongeBob? Like, did they actually make the world's smallest violin while making this figure? Maybe. I mean, I don't know, guys. It is a really, really tiny one. And I mean, take a look at Mr. Krabs. It's just too funny. I'm glad that I got this. Oh, wait, can I do it? Ah, ha, 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 two boxes at once. I figured since both of these figures go together, I might as well open them up at the same time. I don't know, I've never cut them like that before. I thought it'd be fun. And I'm pretty excited about getting both of these in because they are the last figures that I need to complete my set. I believe every single one of these was exclusive to Target. So it is pretty neat that I finally have, I think it's all eight of them, I think. And anyways, let me just show you guys the first figure and then you guys will know what set I'm talking about. It is the comic versions are kind of like the retro ones from Star Wars. And so this one here is the Obi-Wan Kenobi. I was able to get the R2-D2 as well as Chewbacca a little while ago. And then I went and found these two, the last ones that I need. And I also have all of the original Wave 2, which was Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, uh, C-3PO, and Luke Skywalker. And so now if you guys want to take a look at this one, it is the Emperor. Like seriously, some nice stuff. And I'm hoping that they continue this line in the future because they really do look great. And if I were to pick some of the characters that I would like to see, I guess it would be original trilogy stuff. So let me think. Maybe like an Ewok could be cool. Uh, let me think here. Princess Leia would be neat. Boba Fett. Well, actually, no, that's not true. There is a Boba Fett coming out. And you know what? Now that I say that, I don't know if he's available now or if he's coming like super soon. It comes inside of like a comic cover. It's the first ever Star Wars one that they've done. And I don't know if it's available now, but I haven't seen it anywhere. So for right now, we're saying that the set is complete with all eight characters. And I even have the four pack as well. So we really are completely done. And once that Boba Fett releases, I will be going for it. But for now, I can't get it. And now you know how earlier we were talking about the Tapatio Fluffy? Well, I've got another Fluffy that arrived. And this one here is a pretty fun one. Let me show you guys. All right, here we go, everybody. Three, two, one. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's upside down. Pretend like that never happened. You guys are going to be seeing this for the first time. Three, two, one. There it is. The Jack in the Box Fluffy. Just such a great figure. And Gabriel Iglesias, Fluffy, if you're watching, I would love to have you on the channel sometime. I don't know. I have every single one of your figures and I've seen your collection of Volkswagens. Actually, I think it was Daniel Mack recently did a video. It might have been like today or yesterday where he checked out all of your cars. Well, I would love to take a look at all of your collectibles. And I guess the Volkswagens are technically collectibles, but you know what I mean. And anyways, let's just take a look at this here. I don't know why I'm talking about that, but uh, seriously, a fun figure. And I like when he does collaborations like this. And I believe the only two that he's done so far is Jack in the Box and Tapatio, but I'm hoping that he makes more in the future. I would love maybe like a superhero version of him for Comic-Con. That would be amazing. And also with this figure here, it looks like the head is the same as one that came out a while ago, but the body is completely different. So you've got the Jack in the Box bag, he's holding the taco, and then he also has the Jack in the Box t-shirt or like you know that kind of like Hawaiian one that he wears and I'm also really enjoying that sticker how it's Jack in the Box and Gabriel Iglesias together. And well actually you know what guys I'm looking around and that seems to be every single box for today so I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you tomorrow.